I mean, it sounds like a truism, but it, uh, you do see more the more that you look. And at first sight, you know, one thinks abstract painter, but no, you know, there's nothing could be further from the truth. It is very, very firmly rooted in actually where he is located in Ireland and what surrounds him, what he sees, but also in his experiences and his memories. He, uh, those actually uh, uh, are very much live memories, and he carries those with him. And uh, there is a lot of soul in these pictures. Paul Clay's work I love. Georges Braque, especially the elderly Braque. The quiet solemnity, the majesty of those pictures. Braque and Picasso during the Cubist period. The cave painters. The graffiti I see all around the place. Barcelona before the Olympic Games, all the walls in the alleyways, which is like Tapiez's pictures. In fact, I think it's where it probably got so much inspiration. I think the vandals came along and cleaned the graffiti off of the Olympic Games. Kingerly, I suspect, is a genius. I often wondered what it might be like to have walked in the, in the shadow of Van Gogh or Gauguin, wondered what it may have been like to have shared space with them. And it was only when I got to meet John Kingerly that I sensed that I got the answer to that, and that that answer is I stood in awe of someone who was certainly different, someone who was certainly peaceful within himself, someone who was self-assured to the outside world, but was struggling from within to find his pathway in life. I think if you look at American paintings, particularly in the contemporary schools, all the paintings seem to be so large, yet John has this wonderful ability to sort of condense everything, the energy, if you like, into smaller works. And that, uh, I think, is very appealing to Americans. It's something very, very new for them. I've had the opportunity of meeting John, and he's a very gentle man. Um, and I think that's, it's a, it's a rare thing in contemporary art. I think there was a raw edge, or an, almost a, an aggression, aggression to contemporary paintings, where I don't think you find that with John. I think he's very content, and even though there's energy in his paintings, it, it balances well for the individual that he is. One of the things I like about John Kingerly is that he lived through difficult times. Like James Joyce, he was peripatetic. He kind of moved around. He wasn't really captured by the materialistic world. And he painted on scraps, anything would get bits and pieces. But he was pursuing an ideal. Uh, and just like Joyce in Finnegan's Wake, where uh, the landscape kind of dissolves to reveal all the layers underneath, this is what he does in some of the paintings. And some of the paintings, I think, are just wonderful. I mean, uh, particularly, I like the bird one. And there's one of a heron. And, you know, at first glance, it's sort of childish, but he's caught that wonderful, elegant ungainliness of the heron taking off. And his uh, work hovers on the boundaries between the conscious and the unconscious, between the surreal and the representational. And he, I think, trains your eye to look anew at objects and at life and at things. Uh, and I think that is a marvelous thing.
New York art right now is cynical and, uh, well, if it's not cynical, at least they deal in irony. And John Kimberly is very straightforward, and what you see is it. He readily admits his influences. Du Jean Dubuffet, for instance, and Paul Clay he really loves, and anybody who works small. And then he's been asking me about people in the States that he sort of knows, you know, and I kind of tell him if there's an affinity, you know, with, with them. This is an esoteric level for me. I don't understand the connection, but, you know, I'm sort of glad I don't. It's a mystery that can be... And uh, the, each uh, square in those grids is one layer of paint, so it's built up. So there's things show through from the bottom. So it's about uh, concealing and revealing. His other work with the people in it, with the faces, the heads, is very open and this is a you know this is a a bit mysterious